Hello everyone, welcome into our newest playthrough in Old World, and today we're going to be starting a new series, because in case you did not see the last video, we actually ended up winning. I actually, I, I didn't anticipate doing so, I hadn't kept track of how far ahead I was of the, how far ahead of the AI I was, uh, until probably that episode where I noticed it and realized that we were very, very close to getting a victory. And then it ended up happening. But anyways, guys, I'm Herm, and I'm here to bring you some old world content um, for as, as long as I can. If you do enjoy the content, please remember to like and subscribe uh, to the, the channel here. If you do want to take a look at our last playthrough, probably the, the best playthrough that we've had so far on this channel, go ahead and do so. It's going to be right up in this top right-hand corner. I'll go ahead and link it up there for you. But uh, we did play on the, the great there, so it's the hardest difficulty. And we are going to try and up our game just a little bit here, which can be disastrous for us because that's, I mean, that was our first win on the great. Uh, and I won't beat around the bush. Uh, the previous two or three playthroughs on the channel weren't very confidence-inspiring. But I have faith that we'll be able to, to keep this momentum. So we're going to go ahead and hop in here. As always, we're going to pick, pick our nation when we first settle the... Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Pick your nation when you first settle the city. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and do that. Now, one caveat to this is on our channel so far, we have played every nation except for two. The first one is Assyria, and then the second one is Greece. But we have had an opportunity to play every other nation. I do want to revisit Persia because we had such a poor performance on Persia. Uh, that we'll have to revisit them uh, soon. But in this game, we are either going to pick either Assyria or Greece. Uh, and I'm half tempted uh, to just default to Greece because every time that I've seen Greece in any one of my games, they just get absolutely curb stomped. So we'll see what ends up happening here. Okay. Okay. First things first is the setup of the game. We are going to keep everything basically the same here. Pick our leader, preset. We're going to play on the great, which is the hardest difficulty down here. Um, and then tribal strength is going to stay the same with, with normal. We're going to do four opponents, which means that we'll be playing on the uh, medium-sized map. And then four opponents. Uh, AI aggression is going to be normal. It, no AI handicap. And we're going to move from fledgling, which, would, which is what we had last, back up to established. Now, these are the settings that we've lost our previous games on. So let's hope that we don't get uh, ran over here because if we get ran over uh, here on these settings, we'll have to jump it down and it'll just be really disappointing to, to do so. And I think a lot of it depends on the map. Now there is a lot that we could do with the map to make sure that we get a good one, right? Like we can go in with like no fog of war, get the map seed and come back out and grab it. We could do pre-made, uh, you know, maps and do like the Mediterranean or the old world or, you know, whatever, whatever it is. I don't really like to do that. I like the randomness of it. It really does challenge me and makes me, you know, uh, adapt to the situations that we find ourselves in. So let's go ahead and hop right in and start this game up. All right, let's hop right in. So I do like uh, co-starts when uh, we we do have resources. I don't see them immediately, but I do see uh, mountains, which is good for us. We're going to definitely try and take advantage of that as much as possible with our uh, quarries. Um, definitely tr going to try and get down here. I see two groves right away, uh, a bunch of places where we could get mines going on, uh, camps and pastures. We have basically one of almost every type of resource uh, in our starting capital, which is fantastic for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and found our capital here. Let's take a look at our two nations. We could do Assyria. Now, Assyria is awesome because uh, they start with the focus upgrade on all of their units, which means all of their units have a 10% chance to just crit. Um, and then they gain the additional bonus of every single one of their units have a plus 100% pillage yield. And anytime they kill a unit, they gain two orders every single time. So if you can't guess, the uh, Assyrian nation is very much built around killing people. You know, they have the battering ram and the siege tower um, as their unique units. Uh, and they start off with a zealot, which is really cool because the zealot as a leader will be able to 
uh, if they if they lead a unit and they they kill a unit with it, there's a chance that they are able to. Here we go. As a general, if they are the leader, 10% enlist chance. So if they kill a unit, they can enlist it into their army, um, and it's a 10% chance to do so. So Assyria is very very strong. If you're getting aggressive early, just a, a an amazing civilization there. And then we have Greece, who is just like the little brother. They don't really have that great of. Um, bonuses here, I think they're okay, right? Uh, all cities gaining plus two culture per year is awesome. What you're meant to do with this civilization, I believe, uh, is is really just get up uh, your stone cutting, uh, get up your Odeons, right? Um, and by stone cutting, I mean quarries. Get your quarries going, get your Odeons going, uh, and settle as many cities as you can and win by culture victory, right? And uh, having a very, very developed nation, so we're going to obviously take Greece because they are the underdog here. So we'll take them. Now, the, the Grecian families, we have champions, artisans, patrons, and sages. The champions are going to be your military city. They have their uh, two uh, training per turn per year or, or per, per year, which is per turn. And that's in every single champions or our, uh, yeah champion city. And then every single one of their cities have plus 50% uh, city defense. New units start with Steadfast, which is plus 25% versus Tribal. So we could start with them, start pumping out um, a bunch of units if we really wanted to. And if we do find some Tribal nations, we could just kind of go to war with them uh, pretty pretty early um, and, and do pretty well with that Steadfast promotion. And then we would also gain a Militia right off the, the rip. They like uh, wine and dyes. We don't see wine or dyes. We see lavender and citrus. And that's not anything. We do see some gems over here for our luxuries. Uh, this isn't fur at all. So not much that we can uh, do with that right off the, uh, at least not much information to really go off of. Next one that we have is the artisans family. I think the artisans is, is a must. Uh, for Greece, because every single city gains an additional four culture per, per year, and then their mines and lumber mills gain 20% improvement, just like the artisans in our last playthrough. Minus two years to build urban improvements on the family seat. So in my capital, if this were to be the city that I choose, every single urban improvement that I choose to build, including the Odeon, right, uh, and the Hamlet and all the other ones, would take minus two years to build. So really, really powerful stuff there. Uh, we could probably even try and go for some builder leaders here to really just pump as much development as we can into our our nation. That's something that we might be able, that's a path that we might be able to choose. Then we have our patrons, or our patrons, excuse me, they give us uh, plus two uh, civics per year. We get a free luxury with literature um, in every single one of their family cities. And then we gain four culture per precious resource. So precious resources are going to be like your gems, right? Uh, and then your, I think ore is one, right? It's not. So gems, silver, gold, I think are the, are the three. I could be completely wrong here. So let me, let me just double check. Gems. Uh, let's, let's see. It's not traders. What family is this? Patrons. Uh, gems, gold, silver, and pearls. Um, so we we do have gems, but that's that's it, right? That that bonus wouldn't really seem to matter all that much. That that would only give us plus four culture. And then we have our sages, which give me science. Plus 25% science in the family seat, so I could probably emphasize a bunch of specialists in that city. And I would gain an archive and acquire random technology. So I think that the three families that we're going to go for are the, ar uh, are the champions, the artisans, and the sages. I think I start with the artisans because I get, that gets me culture right away. This becomes the family seat, which I, I gain an additional worker. I won't be able to utilize that worker right away. Uh, just because I don't have any resources with the, the biggest difficulty. My mines and lumber mills in here will do really, really well. And I do have, you know, 
uh, plans for at least two mines right here that I can see. Probably two more right here getting into these quarries as soon as we can. Um, and then the minus two years to build urban improvements. The cool thing about Greece is they start with drama, which means they start with the ability to construct Odeons, and then they also start with the ability to get uh, quarries right off the bat as well, which is really, really cool. So let's do that. Let's find our capital and let's get started. I think that we want to get trapping right away. Um, the biggest reason we want to get trapping is because we do have a camp here that is going to be very, very helpful for us. We do have two workers here. We want to move here and cut trees. Because that's going to help us build in this episode. And then we are going to move over here and start the mine. In order to build our Odeon we would need 50 stone in order to do so. Or we need, we'd need to be able to, to buy 50 stone, which we just don't really have the ability to do at the moment. So I'm going to move over here and cut these trees as well to get me some more uh, wood. And then we can start next turn using our scout to start harvesting resources and getting us into new locations. Here's our free city site that it's giving us. It's quite a ways away. Like it's on the other side of a, uh, of this mountain. So that's a bit frustrating for us, but that's okay. We'll see what else we can do. I have a sneaking suspicion that this map is going to be like an island map, you know, where we're, we're on a, islands and separated and whatnot, which will be fine. It'll really help us, you know, kind of expand. Um, now, I am always tempted with Alexander to, to go with tactics, guys. And, and to be real honest, he's already a hero. He has plus three training, plus two because he's bold. Um, and going to tactics, I think, is kind of boring. So what I want to do instead is do politics with, uh, with Alexander because that's more fun. Okay, with this builder here... I think I'm going to go down here and start building a quarry. Excuse me. Nope. Uh, I'm going to come over here and get a mine. These mines here are going to get me a really good iron income. Then I'll be able to come down here with that iron income and start building, uh, start building quarries. And then with my stone income, I could build like Odeons and stuff like that. So it's a little bit slow going on this difficulty, but it is what it is. Okay. He's disappointed with me. He gained some discipline. Or I could, <laughs> I could try to get 300 gold, but I don't have the ability to do so. If I did have 300 gold, I, he could become an artist, which would be great or, or would be hysterical. Uh, but let's grab the, the discipline on him. Uh, and it also gives me four orders, which I'm not sure I'm going to, to really be able to use. But there is an ancient shrine over here. I could adopt a child, which is kind of cool, but it uh, reduces my legitimacy. So I'll just take the legitimacy here. And then I know that there's a city kind of down in this direction. So I'm going to move to this hill, see if there's anything else that I could see. There is. There's some gold over here, which I'm going to move on. And I found gold and silver which may make me rethink. Wait, I found a landmark. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to redo that. East European plane. Okay. We're going to keep it, keep it. That. I like to keep all my landmarks the same. Cause I think it's really cool to see what the map generates. We found uh, some barbarians as well, which will be able to take our warrior, move him out here. We're going to add a general. Um, actually we're not, we'll wait until Alexander comes of age. We'll take our founder here or King Philip and he'll become the governor of our capital as well. Settler still has three turns. Then going to come out in this direction and we'll be set here. This city is definitely going to make me rethink whether or not I want the precious resource uh, family because the precious resource family is going to be able to 
manipulate this a lot and give me a lot of culture, which is something that I want. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to harvest the gold. We're going to move over here. We're definitely going to harvest the silver. And I'm going to move here and down. We're going to ignore them and take six orders, which is great for us. So I'm going to move to these horses, harvest those. That gives me some gold that I can fiddle around with. Then move you over here. Can't tutor. One more turn on this mine, which will be great for me. It'll start getting me some actual resources, which will be good. And I don't have anything else that I can spend my orders on. Cool. Got another sun, which is awesome. Can build a quarry on this hill. Don't think that I'm going to. I think that I'm going to build it right here instead. I believe that quarries get additional, yeah, 20% more stone in arid landscapes, which is what we have here in these two. Um, I want to save these two spots for iron mines, I think, or possibly save this for, let's do, this is probably going to be a windmill. If we get there, then we'll go quarry and then quarry. Uh, this is definitely going to be a quarry as well. Uh, this will be a water mill. This will be a quarry. And then this will be a quarry. A lot going on here, guys. Definitely a lot going on. But that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that we're, we're set there. We're going to take our two orders to move. We are going to move our scout. Let's take the plus 80 opinion here with Carthage. We just found our first neighbor, which is over here. They most likely want to take these two sites as well. We're going to harvest the elephants for some gold. Um, the reason that we didn't move our warrior forward is there's this river that's protecting these barbarians. I need to get on the other side of it, and I didn't have the orders to do so. Okay, scout took a hit. 30 culture, 75 civics. I'm going to take the 75 civics. I think that that's more important to me earlier. Uh, I could take the Wisdom, uh, and I'm going to. I think that that's more valuable over his lifetime because he is eventually going to be my heir. I'm going to take you and move you down to this free city site in here. We want to get this Miner Specialist here, and then I'm going to take you and start building up this quarry. This is definitely going to be a mine. And this will probably also be a mine. Hey, we have to think about where our other stuff is going. I have no more orders to really clear this out, which is pretty unfortunate for me. Uh, I could buy some orders. I at least want to buy one to move you here. They already have a city down here kind of claiming this land. So I definitely need to make sure to establish this border. My wife is humble, which is great. That gives me science as well as discipline. Okay, I can become gracious. I'm going to actually take the orders. That's what I need the most. I'm gonna make sure that I spend these orders getting. Okay, we got some olives over here. So I'll spend my orders getting my uh, my settler down in this direction, and then getting you on this side of the river. We'll go ahead and we'll attack. We definitely need to clear this out, and I do believe that I can clear it out with just the one unit. At least I hope so. We're going to move you down, try and just keep exploring, harvest these horses for some more uh, gold. Hey. 
Okay, we have another sun, which is pretty cool. We're gonna move you here. And then I think that for sure we're going to take the uh, military family here. We got a lot of mines that we could uh, mess with in here. Tons of them, actually. And then we also have a militia, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and just immediately build a warrior. That is something that I need to do, is get a warrior so to, to help clear this out, right? Because I'm taking five per turn, uh, and they are also taking five per turn. Um, so it's going to be tough for me to, to really justify kind of staying here for very long so we'll see what ends up happening i could definitely put alexander as a general here but that's gonna waste a turn and i would die before i would be able to clear this out i have three turns on this miner as well four turns on this warrior hopefully i'll be able to clear it out we'll kind of see what what ends up happening yes i know that it's not the the best play in the world but it is kind of what we have um I'm going to back that up. The scout is not nearly as important to me as this builder over here. Uh, so I'm going to move this builder over here and build this mine. Get this mine going. Get a pretty healthy income of iron first. That's probably the easiest one that I can do. Completely decline there. Controlling six mines is probably the easiest one, so I'm going to take that ambition. Let's see. I mean, with oh, I, with my ambition, I definitely do want to get a mine there, so let's go ahead and do it. We probably want to build a quarry. I am going to take... I'm going to take my scout, and I'm going to move him up here just to try and bait this... Uh, skirmisher to hit my scout instead. I'd rather that happen. And then I will move. Yeah, I'll move you up in this direction to see if you might be able to, to assist because a militia is better than nothing, right? A body to tank some shots. I think that that's a good idea. Didn't work. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this. I become intolerant. I could gain a settler, but I am warlike. Or he can become endeared to me and I could become gracious. Let's do that. Let's get gracious here. I still don't die from this guy next turn, which is great. I'm going to move you up and kind of prioritize this movement here. Move you here. Harvest the horses. Then move you back here to become adjacent to them. Maybe they prioritize that again. Hopefully they do. I definitely need Alexander to be the general here because he's a hero and he can heal in neutral territory. So he would definitely be able to help out in that scenario. Okay, this is huge for me because this buys me one more turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to promote you to Shield Bearer. I'm going to add a general, which is Alexander. Choose. Even if you come in, even if you come in here, you're not going to be able to kill him, which is great for me because that means that I can take you, run you in this direction here, harvest these elephants. I need... I don't have any um it's part of me that wants to run an olympiad but I, they're they're so bad such a waste of civics so instead i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get a warrior and then i want to take a little bit of time here to plan out where might be the best way for us to kind of expand oh this is good information to know i didn't notice this before this is the bottom of the map for us so we know that we probably want to scout kind of up in, uh, in, in this direction, but I do want to plan where I want my like hamlets uh, to, to be here. And I think that I'll probably end up wanting like a hamlet here. That'll border pop me kind of out in, in this direction. And then 
I'll want like a an Odeon here. I don't know if I can build that, right? Must be adjacent to city or to urban tile, so I can't do that right away. Okay, so let's probably... I do want a border pop in this direction. I also definitely want to get up here too. Ooh, it's tough. So one Hamlet here. Um, I think that I'll go like here is going to be uh, barracks. And here is going to be a barracks. You right here can be an Odeon. And I want to get that as soon as I can. So probably next turn here, I'll move over and get this Odeon. You are going to move up in this direction. Okay, they're probably at war with the Scythians, which is frustrating. He gained some wisdom. I could gain a bunch of stone here if I really wanted to. Um, I think these shrines are what I need to go for. I'm going to go with Impella. I want probably the Courage. I'm going to take you, move you here, get our Odeon going, because that is our win condition. I'm going to move you here. The reason that I'm going to move you here is I'm going to try and snipe this to the best of my ability. I'm going to take you, and I'm going to heal. And then I'll start kind of attacking and we'll kind of switch off. Then take you, we'll move you in this direction as well. See if we can't steal this site from them. I want to, I want to get a settler going. So I think that I actually come over here and I say, I don't have the, the gold to do it. I could sell, let's see. I need 347. Wow. Okay. Let's do a settler. Let's get progress started on that settler because we do need to get this site. Me putting production into other things is just a, kind of a failure of, on my part. Let's get a worker started in here. Oh. Okay, there you go. All right. Um, don't, yeah, I'll probably do this here. Inspiring. That's a great one. Okay. I'll hit here. Heal on the next one. Super unfortunate that I wasn't able to get this site. This could limit me pretty badly. Um, we know Persia's up here, and there is likely land in this direction as well. So I do need to probably get my scout moving in this direction and prioritize that. Could take this kill to avoid them getting it. Um... Carthage is definitely stronger than I am at the moment. Don't probably don't need to waste my orders there like that. Um, I'm gonna move here. I am gonna buy three, cut, cut clear, and then get this camp going. That's gonna help me with growth, which should help me produce the settler just a few, maybe like a turn or two sooner. And then I didn't have any orders left to really deal with that, but I, that's what I expected. Okay, we got our Odeon up super fast, courtesy of the bonuses that we get. Get that flank going. Wait. Okay, easier way to do that. Then I can heal up the turn after that. 
Got our settler going. This worker can't really do much other than build a mine over here. But I would need to buy three more orders, which I can do. So I will. Uh, I'm going to take this one. I don't want to upset Carthage, and I don't want to upset my family either. So I'm going to go ahead and say no to that. Mines and quarries is the obvious one here. I get one extra training, 12 and a half iron and five stone already. That's such a good one. Let's gain 20 opinion with them. You are going to study tactics for sure. You're going to heal up. We're going to put an order into that for sure. And then let's see. I think I want to move you here. Go ahead and heal you up. I hope there's something down here that I'm missing. Maybe a site in this direction. Hopefully there is. That allows me to grab like another city there pretty quickly. Alrighty, we already got this camp going. This mine isn't a horrible one. And it completes our ambition. So let's get it. We're gonna go ahead and heal. I'll buy one for you, just to heal you to full. And then next turn we'll prioritize scouting with you. I think we might send you down. We saw the the scout come from up here, so I guarantee there's a way through here. So I feel comfortable setting my scout in this direction. And Egypt was discovered. They're insane already. Uh, yeah, we could take some Judaism. And let's see here. What else can we do? Let's take this scout. Let's move him down here. And here. And here. Okay, no city site, which is pretty frustrating. This is a really big river, but it gives us a lot of land that I guess that we can kind of expand on in this direction with our capital. I guess. You are going to, let's see, influence here. No, we don't have the gold for it. It's fine. Nice. This will be my heir. I gain discipline. I lose discipline. I think I gain discipline here. Yep. Son, fourth in line. He could study commerce, I guess. That'll be great. I can already up myself and start building a theater, which will be great, because I think that I want to build a hamlet right here or probably here, which means I could build this theater right here. So let's do that. I'm gonna heal up here. Then we're going to see what we can find in these mountains over here. Lots of desert. Not really great land down here. That's completely fine for us at the moment. Mm. 
Nice. Wow, look at that golden hair. That's awesome. Um, free settler, or we could get up to Polis. The free settler is awesome, but we don't have anywhere to put it. Right? Like, we have our three cities, and we haven't really discovered much more. Like, look at this desert land, guys. Let's have them gain some... Wisdom. Okay, so not a whole lot going for us over here. Pretty tough start in terms of just overall land. I can convert to Judaism. We got to take it. No, we don't have to take it. This is probably the only time that I don't mess around with it. There is something to be said for getting husbandry because that helps my capital. But I think that we also take the hamlets or the barracks. Let that, let's get up to military. Let's prioritize some, some of our military here. Let's spend our three orders getting you over here so we can get our third city. There we go, six mines. He can become educated. Definitely want him to become educated, that's great. Enact tyranny or enact constitution. Let's see. I would need to get sovereignty as my technology, which is over here. Not very close to that at all. And I do happen to know that he dies pretty early in most game, or I can enact epics, which is much easier to enact. It's this one right here. I just need to get over to rhetoric. That might be something that I can do. But I think that I'm going to pass. I think that that's a smarter choice. Let's make sure we spend our orders there. Okay, nothing over here. No land for us to settle. We gotta check up here, see if we can find anything. If not, our option is going to be fighting Carthage. That will be what we do. Okay, let's take a look at the shrines that we have access to. We have the Shrine of Athena, which uh, boosts our her adjacent courthouse. So if I get courthouses, it would boost that. Um, nets for the Shrine of Poseidon, the Shrine of Hades, mountains and volcanoes. So there might be something to be said about getting this. Like, could possibly get it like right here. And then we have the Shrine of Zeus as well, per adjacent wonder. Hmm. There'll be a Jewish monastery there. Okay, we got you on board now. So let's see, what do we do? with you. I mean, a lot of mines in here, right? It's going to be the name of your game. Let's get a slinger. We're not going to do that. It's too much to ask of us. Um, I do like getting, yeah, do you. Okay, maybe some land up here, which could be cool for us. We're gonna send our militia on an excursion here. Let's go ahead and grab this worker.
We have a luxury. We're going to manage that luxury. We're going to send it to Pella. Who is finishing a warrior. Crap. Okay, so we got a, a warrior and then we'll go with a stone worker. That stone worker is going to border pop us out a little bit. Okay, we'll put one more turn here and then we'll call the end of this episode. Where are they going with this settler? Sure, let's have a state religion. That'll be great. We're going to go ahead. I'd like to influence you. Where are you going? Okay, we have an ancient shrine. Four developing cities? Five developing cities. No way. I'm going to take the gold. Okay, if I build the Shrine of Athena here, it means that I have to build a courthouse right here. I don't think I can. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go to war with the Danes. We have to find a way that we can get over there. It's gonna be the difficult part, right? My units can't, can they go over? They should be able to, right? I believe they can. Okay. At what point can I? Is the better question. I don't know. I'll have to take a look into into that, or maybe some of you know by just kind of uh, watching the, the video. Please let me know when we are able to just go ahead and go on water. I know that we can. I've seen my military units, or at least maybe my worker units do it before. I've seen other people's military units uh, do it. So I'm not I'm not 100% positive. I actually don't know what to do with these builders in here, guys. I could build some farms in here if I really wanted to. Um, but I think that this is where I'm going to build a hamlet, right? So this will be a hamlet right here. Maybe I build a farm, kind of like a farm triangle right here. Or just these two are farms because I'm pretty positive I want to put a water mill here. Oh, farm. Let's get these two going for each other at least. Then when the stone cutter is finished, we can come down here and put more quarries. 
I guess. I don't know. It's really tough. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Appreciate you guys uh, so much for, for tuning in here. Uh, we are definitely facing a difficult task because we have no land that we can settle. We have the Libyan desert way out here, which is giving us absolutely nothing. I'm hoping that my scout is going to be able to discover a way that we can get on over here to the Danes so that we can fight them and, and claim this land. But I'm not certain how we do that. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.